Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good. Today I'm going to review Brewstro uh, gouache colors and I'm going to paint something uh, very special with these colors for the very first time. So these colors uh, are very opaque and uh, thicker than watercolor. I uh, got these from Amazon.in. I'm using these colors on Brewstro black sketchbook and um, the most important thing about gouache colors is uh, that they are thicker, they are opaque and they can be reactivated uh, with uh, using a little bit of water unlike acrylic colors. If you don't want to use gouache colors, you can easily use poster colors because they are very much uh, like uh, gouache and uh, they need a very little bit of water. So poster colors can be used kiya ja sakta hai for, um, instead of uh, gouache colors. I'm using black color on black paper which sounds a bit uh, weird but yes I'm using it because um, it gives you that depth the, uh, it gives you your, your painting that depth which you want the shadows uh, the 3d effect so uh, one tip when whenever you are going to use black over black is that um, firstly use some lighter colors or uh, create the base and then use black Here I am using teal blue color for the wood effect and here I am going to share some 
beautiful and amazing tips and hacks for gosh color on black paper especially because um, gosh colors are very uh, opaque For the wood effect, you can easily use your finger and uh, just uh, smudge the color uh, and uh, you can get that uh, blurry effect or you can get uh, wood effect and a bouquet effect too can be um, achieved very very easily and it is very useful. I have discovered this while painting this and uh, I hope and uh, I think uh, you will also going to uh, find it helpful. तो आप ट्राई करिएगा और मुझे जरूर बताइएगा कि आपको ये टेक्निक अच्छी लगी और कितनी यूजफुल लगी Use two three layers uh, of colors whenever you are using uh, black paper because um, it will highlight your painting and uh, give it a very bright and vibrant look. So here we are painting our hot chocolate and I'm using bone sienna mixed with a little bit of white color and uh, you can also 
darken the colors or some portions with some black and uh, give it a uh, depth then i'm highlighting the coffee mug or the hot chocolate mug with white color Color the base of the marshmallow with white and then use uh, burnt sienna uh, mixed with white to uh, give it that um, choco powder look and uh, our marshmallow is ready.
and our hot chocolate with marshmallow and candy cane is ready thank you so much for watching subscribe to my channel for more and take care bye bye